Okay. For a second, I thought it wasn't moving. Like, oh fuck! Hey Boris, about the Soliton radar. I noticed that it doesn't get jammed anymore, even if I get spotted by the enemy. Back in the old days, it'd be useless the second an alarm was triggered. Well, once the Patriots fell, classified technology spread all over the world. This new Soliton oh. radar is one example. In the By applying a non-linear Schrodinger equation to the Soliton solution, Schrodinger. they were able to prevent the jamming that plagued the original models based off the KDV equation. I'm impressed. You know your stuff, Mr. President. Of course. I'm a businessman. You think I could run a profitable PMSC without being up to date on the latest tech? But I wonder, how exactly is the equation different? I mean, I'm no expert on how the KDV equation was implemented in the first place, but I'd love to know how the Schrodinger equation fits into all this. <laughs> right. Then. On Battlefield, most important thing is how to use equipment, not theory, theory behind, behind it. it. The mission Get out of here. One priority. So do not worry your head about the equation. We're here to cut something. shit up, not learn I about don't science. On using the equipment to your advantage, da? In other words, you have absolutely no, no idea, do you? Da, the mission, Raiden. Right Focus on the mission. He's dodging the bullet. He's so dodging the bullet. God damn it, Boris. Raiden, you'll need to head inland. But first, make your way through this building. Okay. Raiden, you'll need but first. Sorry, man, but I have to ask. Where did Mr. Lightning Bolt come from anyway? Ugh, seriously? seriously? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well, I told you where I got Raiden from, right? World War II, the Japanese had a plane called Raiden. The Allies named it Jack. Yeah, I remember. And my real name's Jack. So yeah, they codenamed me Raiden. They being the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Never really suited me. But it's better than... Jack just reminds me too much of the past. I hear you. Someone oh. once told me, you can find your own name and your own future. After that, I dropped Jack. <coughs> good. Right, right. And this lightning bolt business? Well, the right part of Raiden means thunder, huh. and Den is electric. Huh. So Raiden is basically lightning bolt. Raiden. Mm -hmm. Anyway, getting more comment on this. That to him this modern, origin, and he just busted out laughing. <laughs> so he called you that as a joke. He was basically just giving you shit. <laughs> Just giving <Yeah>. you shit. <laughs> he actually had a pretty good sense of humor. He was one of the most charismatic men I'd ever met. I don't know much about politics, but being around him, you could just tell he was a natural leader. <sighs> Such a goddamn shame. Mm -hmm. I won't let it happen again. Desperado ends here. Comic book villains and all. Yeah. Yo. We're counting on you. Uh. Mr. Lightning Bolt. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Get out of here, Kevin. So, Ryder, who was this that told you to find your own name before you stopped going by Jack? The one and only Solid Snake. Yo! Hero of Outer Heaven, Zanzibar Land, Shadow Moses. The list goes on. Damn. Right, right. Guy's a legend. I forgot you knew him so well. Yeah, he saved my ass at Big Shell. Not to mention a few times after that. I've lost count. In terms of pure combat ability, he's one of the greatest soldiers I've ever seen. But it's not Yes, he was that. trained under like he knows what's right. Big boss. He just gets it done. Period. No one can stop him. I've learned a lot from him. <laughs> He'd kill me if he heard me talking about him like this. Wow. I didn't know you were such a fanboy. Yo. I thought you were going to start crying there for a sec. Very funny, funny Kev. Kev. Seriously though, did Snake know he had a stalker? Oh. <laughs> Get that shit out of here, Kevin. Get that shit out of here. Hey, relax. I'm only ribbing you. I just wish I got to meet the guy, you know? I know. You're He's no unworthy of your attention, Kev. Looks like a war zone out here. Uh-oh. Luckily, they've been And that's why we're here keeping <coughs> What's up? No? Did you need anything else? No, guess not. Just wanted to. Uh. Oh god. Titan, shall we review the capabilities of, of your, your new body? body? Yeah, there's a doctor. Go ahead, Doc. 
Here's the doctor. outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from C's nano paste. Precisely. First, Herr Doktor. electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But yeah. ah, the repair process is a bit more uh, involved. A bit more uh, messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Yeah. Cut and take, and Cut and take man. Correct. Once extracted, Shake you and need bake. only to crush this Shake and bake. Hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, yeah, so all my people who watch um, Talladega Nights, Ricky Bobby, leak out. Bobby, you still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, uh. harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize, but then you <coughs> can enjoy a bit of score, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as an American. American. Oh? I'm proud to be an American. Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany too. Is he talking about hostile? Indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? Taming our fears. The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This oh, I don't know okay, about that. Okay, I'm still scared of ghosts to this day. I'm still scared of ghosts to this though, day. Huh? I would say overcoming shit. So these self repair units and the other cyborgs, they mean they can heal themselves at any time? Indeed. It is typically a slow process, not much faster than a regular human body heals a wound. <sighs> and you didn't think it was a good idea to give me one of these things? <coughs> not. We removed all the extraneous options in your case to maximize power and speed. Okay, you know. so. Healing wounds is extreme. Even though we. We discovered this and we're still doing it. We're gonna keep doing like a Metal Gear Rising playthrough with the codec calls intact. I know, but. And the standard repair unit, once depleted, is nothing but an empty shell inside you. Dead weight! I get that, Doc, but it also means I need to constantly be grabbing them out of enemies. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. Don't be silly. Simply avoid taking damage and you will be fine. Yeah, <laughs> simple. Simple. How is your eye, Raiden? Great. My sight's perfectly balanced between both eyes. I think my Yeah, my one good right. eye, that fuck right, face right. sliced it right. off. Right. Your eye patch houses an artificial compound eye unit. The unit contains over 200 million solid state image sensors, each with its own individual lens. 200 megapixels, huh? Doesn't sound like all that much. More than sufficient for the application. A human's optic nerve has only about a million fibers, you know. Were we to add more sensors, your perceived vision would not improve. There's only so much modern image compression technology can do. Huh. So I shouldn't expect any more dramatic improvements to my eyesight? No, your brain would no longer be able to process any more visual information in real time. Still, compared to previous ACEs, yours has 1.4 times the resolution and a uh... superior compression algorithm. It may only result in a slight perceived change, but it could wind up making the difference during a mission. Regrettably, I have not had enough time to develop a new eyeball unit just yet. Thus, I have <laughs> cut out the ability to deploy the ACE unit separately and simply installed it on a fixed eye patch. Works for me. If I was using an eye unit, I wouldn't see any better than a regular human. Ah, right. but remember, the human eye is so much more than a simple light receptor. They play a vital role in person-to-person -person communication. Sooner or later, you'd miss it. Stuff like that's important for some tasks, sure. For this op, not so much. So much. And with less moving parts, the lower the chance of something going wrong. <laughs> Besides, I like it. I like this, huh? Are you pleased to hear this? I can worry about how I look 
after I complete the mission. Ah. Ryan don't need no man. Okay. So that's it. Kodak. This is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one inside. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh dear god. So that was in game. That's in game. Is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. Mistral, desperado captain. the old town, then head to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. With a little bit to the center. There you go. Oops. So what was it? No, that was mid. There you go. There you go, that was it. I got my weapons. There you are. Alright. So let's go 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 Uh what's at the top here? Data storage. And it doesn't even make a loud ass boom. It just stays there. Uh uh. Um up this. Some more BP. That's good. Anything over here? Over yonder? No. Over yonder? No. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them or approach from, from behind. behind. And I could always come back here. All right. Oh. Dead on. Pillage them guts. Yes, Raiden. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Raiden. Whoa, Raiden. More life. That's good. We need that stuff. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. That does not look good. So I got like two enemies here. Or make that three. Bullseye! There's a granada. There's a thingy upstairs. <laughs> I want you to turn around, buddy. Uh, now let's go around this place.
Okay. Uh. One Granada. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. What? No, I'm not doing anything. Kabula. Okay. Uh, get up, fool. You're awake now, you're awake. Get up. Let him know he is safe. Okay. Good, good, good. Damn, where is he going? Where is this guy going? You are headed out of the operation zone. Head to the waypoint marked on your Soliton radar. On your Soliton radar. More Granadas. Hey, mommy. More Pepe. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, mommy. Yeah, I have water. Uh, we can't get up there, huh? Okay. Um, anything else we can explore? Uh, nothing? Alright. Cows. No. No. Get off. No, excuse me. No. Bullseye. Give me that Zandatsu. Oh. A rank. 